If you're trying to move your static content website from Heroku to Back 4 App, this is the video for you. Hi, I'm Alex, the architect from Back 4 App, and today I'll guide you through this process. And to illustrate that, I found this really beautiful GitHub website that I'll be using as an example. I'll leave a link for this repo in the description of this video so you can follow along, but you can achieve exactly the same with your own uh, website if it has static content such as HTML files, JavaScript files, and CSS files. So here is the repo that I'll be cloning. Uh, I think I think it's really beautiful and it has only static content. So I'm going to clone this uh, project to my computer by copying this uh, GitHub CLI uh, command line, going to my uh, desktop folder into my terminal and running the command. So after the command runs, you'll see I have this new folder in my desktop which has the content for the website and now that i have this i have to create a new backfrap account so i encourage you at this point to go to backfrap.com create your free account we don't ask for any information besides your email address so you can have a free account and host your website i already created mine so here it is uh, once you create your free account you will end up in a screen that looks similar with mine but with fewer apps uh, and in order to create your first app, you'll have to click this build new app button here. I'm going to skip this for now and I'm going to give it a name. So I'm going to call mine Alex Web. Click create. This takes a couple of seconds as we deploy your application through all the application servers and your database through all the database servers. And if you lose one or more servers, other ones will handle this traffic and your application will keep up online. Now that the application was created, we can go to the cloud code section. Inside functions and web hosting, you'll find two folders, the cloud folder, which is specific for cloud code, and the public folder, which is specific for static content, and you'll find a example index file in there already. So this is the place where we are going to upload our website, and you can do it manually by creating our folder structure by right-clicking the uh, uh, public folder, creating new folders, or adding new files by dragging and dropping, and clicking deploy at the very end. But today we are going to use the back app CLI to do that because it's so much more convenient. And I'll leave a link in the description of this video on how to install and configure the back app CLI. So mine is already installed. Once you install and configure it, you will end up in your terminal with the B4A command. And that will allow you to create and operate apps programmatically from the terminal. So the first command that I'm going to run is b4a new. This will create a new project in my machine. So it will ask me if I want a new project and a new project, uh, a totally empty one or a existing one. I already created the Alex web one, so we are going to choose existing. So if for existing. It will list all my apps. I'll have to find in here Alex Web. It's here, number 32. So I'm going to type 32, hit enter. It will ask them for a directory name, which I can leave blank. It will use the name of the project. Then it will ask if I want a blank project or otherwise I can just hit enter. So I just hit enter. This takes a couple of seconds. And now the, the command run, if I come back here to my desktop, you'll see the Alex Web folder and inside both folders that we have in the cloud app. So the cloud folder, so I can have my uh, cloud code in here and the public folder, so I can have my static content with the index HTML example file in there that I'm not going to use. So I'm just delete this one, move to trash. Now I'm going to copy all this content from the uh, GitHub project, just copy it. And back to my public folder, I'm going to paste it inside it. So, paste. Now that my whole folder structure and uh, files were transferred to this folder, it's time for me to deploy this to the web once again. So back to my terminal, all I have to do is type b4a deploy, hit enter. Oops, I had to enter the folder for that app. So cd alexweb b4a deploy. 
it will identify and upload all the folders and files for me. And once it finishes, I can go back to my dashboard. And if I refresh the screen, you see that now inside my public folder, I have all the file structure and folder structure for my website. This is now ready to run, but I need to have a domain so I can access it. We'll do that by going to App Settings, Server Settings, scroll down all the way to Web Hosting and Custom Domains, click Settings, and activate Back for App Hosting. This will suggest a name for me, uh, and in the b4a.app domain. This uh, subdomain name must be unique among all apps, so it's possible that the suggested one is already taken by another user. So you can have uh, to try different names until you find one that uh, works for you. I'll just try this one. And if you have a custom domain that you want to point to Backfrap, you can add the domain in here, click this plus sign, and it will be able to access your Backfrap hosted website using your own domain. So I'll just click save. It saved it successfully, which means that domain name was available. And if I just open a new tab and type alexweb.b4a.app, which is the domain that we just set, hit enter you see my new website just loads up. So this is one of the easiest and most cost effective ways to host a uh, website that has static content because it's totally for free. If you have your website running uh, in Heroku and you want to move to back for app, you just have to do exactly the same as I did, but using your own code. And remember, if you need any assistance, we have our chat in the chat button in the website that you can click and go to our supporting, which will assist you migrate your uh, website to back for app. So if you found this content helpful, please click the like button and consider subscribing to the channel so you can help us grow. Also share this link with a friend and they can learn something too. If you already subscribed, thank you for that. And if you have any questions, suggestions, or any implementation you'd like to see, please leave it on the comment section. We always answer all the comments. I hope this content was useful to you and hope to see you back. See you soon. Bye-bye.